Hey guys, and welcome back to Skies of Arcadia. When we last left off, uh, things kind of went a little bit south for us. Yes, the Armada um, came for us in one way or another, took all of our crystals. We found out that Gaussian uh, is indeed going a little bit crazy and uh, wants to cool down the reins of destruction, of which uh, that was what the crystals were originally made for. So, cow surprise, I suppose. Um, now, we do have a little bit of an issue here. Our island that we spent days building. Well, I mean, I guess literal days building. Uh, they seem to build it pretty quick when they want to. Uh, now, we actually need to get this island back up and running to accomplish a couple of tasks but luckily that will take uh, care of itself hopefully in the not too distant future in fact if uh, my friend is telling me the truth which of course he is because he knows everything about this game uh, they rebuild this place tomorrow so <laughs> no worries there anyway let's talk to people I I'm so scared what are we supposed to do if the Amada attacks us again Oh, I wish Enrique was here. I know he would keep me safe. Uh, you're safe. <laughs> Calm down. Uh, you're safe now. You're safe now. What matters is... Uh, that's what matters most. I had to give up the crystals in order to save everybody. But we're all okay. I'll do everything I can to protect the lives of my crew. You're right, Vase. I'm sorry. I'm just worried about Enrique. He's out there by himself. I'll be brave for you, your crew, and Enrique. That's it. That's what I'm talking about. And uh, maybe throw a tin of paint around whilst you're, whilst you're at it. Uh, what else we got going on over here? It's frustrating. It took us so long to build our base, and the Armada burned it to the ground in a few minutes. Uh, we'll all help rebuild. Now we have a chance to make it better. Yeah. Well, yeah. some of the crew members were complaining. That our old roofs leaked and stuff. Now it's our chance to build a better base. <laughs> and the cat's jumped on the missus computer. He is a little nightmare like that. He knows he's not allowed on top of it, but he doesn't care. Um, <laughs> I've met some optimistic people before, but Vase, you put them all to shame. But you're right, we're going to rebuild our base, and it's going to be better than ever. Exactly. Optimism, man. I mean, come on. Ah, what does the gnome think about all of this? His meal. Shoe bum bum. He's talking, he's thinking about bums at a time like this. There's, over, <laughs> there's hardly anything left. What should we do? Ismail, you live for this kind of stuff. Uh, let's start with the debris. This is they this mill. You live for this kind of stuff. Here's your chance to make some improvements to the base. Bam, bam, bam. You want something built? I'll build it. You don't want it something built? I'll build it anyway. Thanks, Vase. I guess I just needed a little reminder. I am the greatest. Alright then. I better get started. You'll love it. Your base is gonna be better than ever. I Cool, sure, that's what I like to hear. Looks like these chicken things didn't get roasted, so we've got food for a while. Looks like none of you guys got hurt, and I'm glad to see all of you little guys are safe. Yeah, until the you know, roasting pot comes out. Ah, uh, right. Let's see what Ika has to say about all this. Faze, I really think you should start comforting your crew. They all look pretty miserable. Especially Fina. She's in our meeting room for so long now. I think you should go check up on her. Yeah, 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 yeah. All in good time. No, why? Everything we've worked so hard for is gone. We'll just have to rebuild our base. <laughs> Stop crying. I can just almost imagine base slapping him across the face. We'll just have to rebuild our base. We did it before, we can do it again. The important thing is nobody got seriously hurt. If we give Ismail, uh, Ismail a hand... We'll have our base back up in no time. I'm sure Ismail sees this as a chance to improve the old one. Yeah, you're right. Everybody's okay. I guess we can rebuild our base. I'm going to do my best. And I might learn a few more things from Ismail too. That's the spirit. There we go. 
All right, well, we're gonna go see Fina last because she's probably the trigger here. Now, ah, oh, there's the third shop that uh, the game's librarian was talking about. That wasn't here before, was it? I, did I miss that? I must have, did I come through here with my eyes closed? Must have done. Well, wouldn't be the first time, I suppose. Ah, uh, right, anyway. Oh, look at this. It's got this forge going and everything. Damn. Alright there. Ryu? What? There's nothing going on here. Perhaps it'd be more useful somewhere else. Yeah, how about you stop with the sass and start um, making a nice sword for me? Oh, right. Him, of course. Oh, Vase. Last night was terrible. Most of the base was destroyed. We were fortunate that no one was seriously hurt. Yeah, we were. Uh, anyway, is this a value in book? Hmm, nope. Can't understand any of this. Well, to be honest, I didn't think I actually would anyway. All right, well, I guess none of these guys are going to be selling me any goodies anytime soon. These are Ilch... I, can't even, I don't even know how you, you would pronounce his name. Itchy scrotum? I don't know. Uh, these are his notebooks. Ah, they're full of mathematical formulas and long words that I can't even pronounce. Don't worry about it, you know? No judgment from me, uh, Vase. Damn, Valuans, they've already burned down my shop once. How long are you going to let the Amada run around blowing things up? Stop wasting time talking to me and go after them. All right, boss, keep your damn pants on. Jesus. Right, well, let's go find the rest. Apparently, I'm the captain around here. At least that's what I thought. I suppose she can always don the eye patch. Right, who's down here then? Carry on cheering up the crew. To be fair, outside's destroyed, but everything else looks ship shape. We've got some paint tins around here. Perfect. Someone left some paint cans here. Come to think of it, what exactly were they painting anyway? I don't know, but I mean, you know, got some spare paint cans. Which is good, because we've got a lot of stuff that needs painting now. It looks like the port and the Delphinus weren't damaged in the attack. Once I perform a checkup on the ship, she should be ready to go. The maintenance of the little girl's ship is already done, but will everything be okay? I'm sure it'll be fine. What's the worst that can happen? Hey, pow pow, fine, or pow. Just eating a bowl of uh, whatever that is. I've gone against value in the past, but never to this degree. I've never questioned my employer's motives, but don't worry. If I think you're making a mistake, I'll let you know. Uh, yeah. Okay, so he's like not reacting at all that, you know, everything that just happened. Right, what's going on in here then? I'm so sorry, I can't believe the Amada found us. I feel responsible since I'm a gunner and all. Uh, you should have been paying more attention. And again, with a slap. I don't worry about it. They caught us all by surprise. There was nothing you could have done. You shouldn't be too hard on yourself. The important thing is that everybody is okay. Yeah, I guess you're right. Well, I should start helping everybody with the base. We'll build it even better than before. That's the spirit. Lily, we're sitting here at the port, and then there were some explosions. Rocks and stuff started falling, and we smelled the smoke. Belle was so scared, she started crying. Really? What's all this about tears? <sighs> right. Belle and Lily were really scared. I think they're okay now. Hmm. No time for tears, girls. Jesus. Okay. <laughs> oh, he makes me think back to good old... Oh. Good old games. Glitch in the system. No time for tears. As his friends get horribly murdered. <laughs> no time for tears. <laughs> Brilliant. Um, right, so who else is left? Is there anybody up here? I don't think so. 
Now, the simulator has been updated, which is curious because there used to be a warning every time I used to start it up, moaning about memory cards and things. Uh, didn't get that warning this time, so <laughs> I was like, hmm, are all of my saves going to be here or are they going to be gone? You know, again, like it happened last time the emulator updated, but apparently everything's still here, just without the warning, which is uh, good, question mark. Okay. The Amada didn't do as much damage as I thought, really. I mean, they destroyed a few buildings, but all the important stuff still here. They didn't kill anyone either. Fools. Uh huh. Uh huh. Yes. It's me. I came to see if you're okay. Oh, vase. It is vase indeed, and I have cables trapped all over the place. Right. I'm sorry, but could I just be alone for a while? Fina. Oh, now, is there any ramifications to what we say here? Let's have a little look. Uh, all right, you must rebuild. Doesn't actually say anything. Um, right. I understand. If you still need to work things out. I'll be back later. Fina, don't give up, okay? Well, she's just found out that her people kind of like, you know, want to... Well, they're the ones that destroyed the entire world. Elders, was Ramra speaking the truth? What am I supposed to do? What am I supposed to believe? Alright, everyone. Lift on three, okay? As soon as we get this rubble out of the way, we can start rebuilding again. I can't wait. Hey, I'm a guest here. Why am I stuck doing this kind of work? Shut up, Gilda. We fed you earlier. Ah, quit your griping. There we go, teamwork. Teamwork is dream work. This reminds me of Lower City. What are you talking about? Everybody's safe. We should be happy that nobody was seriously hurt. Nothing lasts forever. That's why we build new stuff. In my prime, I'd have rebuilt half of the island already. Yeah. <laughs> and all the chickens are out. They're too quick. Somebody cast a spell or something. <laughs> Ouch, I'm so tired. Well, maybe some roast chicken would do us good. Maybe my life is better now than it ever was. Hmm. Admirals, the five crystals are now in our possession. The day of our domination over the world is drawing near. My lord, if you'll excuse me, I must go to the place of which we spoke and finish the final preparations. Wow, Galcian, I'm impressed. You destroyed Vase's base and retrieved the crystals. Sounds like it's all under control. I'll be at my ship waiting further orders. That giant cod piece. Belzia. What's the matter, Belzia? You look like you have something on your mind. Share it with me. Admiral Gaussian, please reconsider. If we call down the reins of destruction, so many innocent lives will be lost. Please, we don't need to raise uh, Saltus. Belzia, will you betray me as Gregorio did? No, I have no intention of ever betraying you, my lord. Because I... 
Good. I do not wish to fight an unnecessary battle. As long as Valua does not resist, there will be no reason to use the reins of destruction. Admiral Garcia, what should I do? Uh, I do not see Alfonso anywhere. He's probably on his way to inform Her Majesty of my betrayal. Belzia, I want you to return to the Imperial Palace and remind the Empress of my loyalty to Valera. Wait by her side until further orders. Trickery is your speciality. Now, you can use your abilities to stop unnecessary bloodshed. Yes, my lord, I will leave right away. Hmm. Cracks are forming. <laughs> Farewell, Belzia. You have served me well. Ooh, he's going to stab her in the back. Shameful. We made a lot of progress in one day. Yeah, but it'll be a while before we can get this place looking like it used to. Ooh, that's pretty. I remember when we used to watch the sunset on Pirate Isle. You uh, you used to always talk about being the captain of your own ship. Yeah. yeah, I remember. And sailing beyond the sunset. We've We've come quite a long way since then. And because we've come so far, we can't just give up now, right? You're right. Our journey isn't over yet. Base, Ica. She looks like she's really struggling to walk in that dress. Fina. Now she's avoided all the hard work. I'm sorry if I've caused you all to worry about me. Are you okay now? Yes, I feel a lot better. Actually, I have a favour to ask of you. Will you, will both of you, Come with me to the Great Silver Shrine. What? Ramirez was saying that in order to cool down the Reigns of Destruction, he needs all of the Moon Crystals. I thought that the Crystals were only used to control the Gigas. I didn't know they were used. Uh, they could cool down the Reigns of Destruction. And I had no idea that my people were the ones who were responsible for the deaths of millions. I even have a piece of the silver crystal inside my body. Everything the elders told me my whole life, it's been a lie. I want to know. I need to know the truth about the crystals, about my people. Baze, Ica, I'd ask you again, like I did so very long ago. Will you travel with me? Hmm, well, can't exactly split the rest of the team up now, can we? So, um, I guess, doesn't actually, does he say anything? Give us a face, yes. I don't necessarily think, um, there's a correct one, considering they both essentially mean the same thing. So, of course we will. Of course we will. Even if you didn't want us to, we'd go with you anyway. No matter what happens, Fina, we'll always be your friends. Aww. Thank you very much. Uh, thank you. Thank both. Thank you both so very much. Hey now, you guys weren't planning on leaving me behind, were you? Ha, Gilda. I don't know, but it sounds like things are just about to get interesting. What's he sitting like, honestly? You didn't think that I'd just sit back and let you have all the fun, did you? Ha, <laughs> <laughs> well, looks like we've got a party again. Alright, let's rest up for today. We'll leave for the Great Silver Shrine tomorrow. Yes! Gilda has joined the party. Excellent, because we've got some new gear for him. Thank you for informing me, Alfonso. You have done well. Yes, my lord. 
Of course, I am your loyal servant, your highness, and those personal matters of which I spoke. <laughs> Very well, Alfonso. I shall grant you what you wish. Mother. <gasps> Enrique? You've finally come back, so at last you've come to your senses and returned to us. No, Mother, I have come to warn you of an impending danger. Admiral Gaussian has betrayed you and is planning on taking over the world. We must try and stop him. <clears throat> yes, my boy, I know. Alfonso here was kind enough to inform me of Admiral Gaussian's plans. It seems that he's gathering the moon crystals in order to cool down the rains of destruction. <gasps> what? So that was his plan all along? Mother, we must act quickly. We need to get all of our people to shelter. Enrique, please, calm yourself. We must think of the situation at hand. If we can get the moon crystals in our possession, our dreams of ruling the world will come true at last. I have made Alfonso the new commander of the Valiant Armada and we shall fight Gaussian. Oh god. Mother, this is not to be taken lightly. You can't, he's too powerful. Your Highness? <laughs> Do not fear, Your Highness. All of my failures up until this point were Lord Gauss Gaussian's orders. If I act on my own accord, I shall bring Gaussian to justice. <laughs> Good, Alfonso. Good. Okay, so he's just blatantly admitted that he's kind of been screwing her over this whole time. And she's just blank slated him and given him all the power of the value and army a martyr oh dear I see very well then you leave me no choice what Enrique what are you doing mother if if you can't continue like this oh if you continue like this you will destroy value I must do this for my country, for my people. No! <laughs> Alfonso's just shit himself. Enrique, sheathe your sword at once. Your Highness, please forgive me. Belzia, Enrique has been brainwashed by the air pirates. He's gone mad. Imprison him at the Grand Fortress until he comes to his senses. Please, your highness, wait, I, I... As the new commander of the Value and Namada, I order you to take the prince to the Grand Fortress and lock him up. <laughs> if you have any complaints, you can take them up with the executioner when your head is resting on the block. Ooh. Big words for a little boy. Well, well, well. Things are steadily escalating there um, how's everything going here we'll have this place fixed up before you guys set, uh, get back from the silver shrine okay now everybody's going to see what Yafatome and builders are made of right so I guess we have to come back to the shrine come back from the shrine before everything's done here but can we use these shops now now, one of these shops sells seeds, which we can use to permanently upgrade stats, which is good, because we have nearly 2 million gold. There's not a lot you can do with 2 million gold, <laughs> it's kind of unlimited money. Hello, Vase. Can I help you? Excellent. Mm, this shop is adequate, but is lacking some of the more sophisticated equipment. If I could purchase some... It would be possible to make better medicines. It will cost a thousand gold to upgrade everything. Uh, a thousand gold? I got like two million in the bank. Go for it. Really? Are you sure? Thank you very much. I'll get started on renovating the lab right away. Uh, yeah. It's like a thousand coins, mate. Go for it. What about you? Are you fully maxed out now? Now that I have an, an adequate forge, I can make weapons be fitting of your crew. Would you like to purchase something for me? Vase, have you ever heard of uh, Valorium? 
It's rumoured to be lighter than a feather and harder than a diamond. Valorium, even in the hands of a medical swordsmith, will produce superior weapons. If you're able to acquire some Valorium and bring it to me, I'll be able to craft weapons of legendary quality. You have Valorium? You are worthy of my finest blade. Excellent. I shall begin forging your blade at once. This will be my greatest creation. May it serve you well. Yeah, so uh, as far as I know, that weapon is going to be uh, Vaze's best, best weapon in the game. Now I have, yeah. So I'm not sure if we have to buy it or is it the soul sword? Yeah, yeah. So there we go, the soul sword. Ooh, that's interesting. The moon wing is actually a step back for Ica. Interesting. Huh, the soul sword. Is that genuinely the best weapon in the game, though? It can cause instant death. Yeah. Uh, yeah, that, that, that's, um, yeah, that's pretty good. Uh, I'll have one of those, please. So it does marginally more damage, but the idea that it causes instant death is pretty mad. So, we have the stone blade. Ooh, yeah, a gun made specifically to fit Gilda's touch. It has an unequaled accuracy and power. Well, I guess we're going to give that to Gilda. Now, we already had a weapon for him, didn't we? If memory serves. I very much doubt uh, a great weapon in the hands of a novice will eventually find the hands of an expert. <laughs> yeah. Um, oh my god, Gilda is level 36. Wow. Uh, yeah, he's over half. Yeah, he's got like a, a level dev deficit of 40. Um, I'm not really sure what we can do about that. I mean, not much, I guess. I might be able to do some grinding off camera to power him up a little bit, but oh, get him up to 50 at least, surely. Also, super moves. We never unlocked any of his super moves, I guess. But we have loads of moonberries, so... I suppose we can just spend a few of these. Create a barrier for one turn that blocks all adverse and only adverse effects. Okay. So... Mm, mm. Calls in the Claudia and fires all of her cannons. Attacks all enemies. That actually sounds like it probably quite cool um, right equipment Gilda special right so no that's the best gun that he could potentially have he's got no armor really oh dear oh dear dear oh dear no armor at all ah uh, I guess <laughs> whatever we can give him really improves hit and power I suppose protects against silence that warriors runes has put a lot of things up admittedly might not be a bad shout to be honest uh, that's even better Apparently. Ancient Bracer. Right, okay, cool. So he's doing um, 390, basically. 390 attack. What's, like, everybody else doing? Uh, where's his attack? Power. Okay, so power, I guess. Interesting. So, not that much difference. 
Really? Oh, no, 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 my bad. So, yeah, literally doing half the power. Ouch. Okay. Well, I don't think we're going to have Gilda for long. So, let's see. We can just get him some basic armor for now. So, <laughs> yeah. We can... So, that's... 18 1, 15 4. Hmm. Yeah. Probably give him that for now. There we go. It's better than nothing. And I'm actually sure it's probably pretty good, to be fair. Now, anything else? Uh, so, Fina can have that. It does put our magic down, like, a little bit, but... Uh, plated armor. Wow, that actually puts our defense up hugely, but puts our attack down. Robe of Truth. Yeah, well... Takes their quick down. Yeah, sure. Get two of those. Quick doesn't seem to be like a huge thing in this game. Uh, oh dear, oh dear. Right, so. Wind Slicer. Skull Cap. Yeah, not, not really super useful, to be honest. Uh, okay, so I think with that, we're. Oh, Radiant Fur. Nah, don't need it. Right, okay, cool. Let's get out of here. I suppose we could sell everything else that we have, to be honest. Let's get rid of you. Let's get rid of you. Thunder Cutlass. Yeah, I guess. Get rid of that. We'll hold on to that. We'll sell the Ice Splitter. I'm pretty sure what we've got is already better. Settle this crap too. Pump those numbers back up. So Fina and um, Ika quite often end up wearing the same outfit, which is interesting because their roles are very different. Okay. Now, let's have a look at some of these seeds. If indeed we can buy seeds. I think it's only when we max out. Ah. Well, I suppose we may as well top up on everything that we need. Cure crystals, sure, I guess. Rizlum, reviver, and uh, 30 of those. I mean, I very much doubt we're going to need more than 30 of them, but then you don't really want to be caught with your pants down, do you? Might as well top up on everything whilst we're here. Right, and yeah, okay. So next time we come back, this place should be upgraded. So that most powerful sword of Favaze is very underwhelming. Now, can we? Oh, yeah. So we can't actually upgrade her. And she just sells the boxes, doesn't she? Yeah. Which, I mean, I guess it just allows you to cast any spell you want for essentially free but ugh. it's not we're not really limited by that so um probably should have gone the other way around to be honest anyway i think that's almost all we have time for so what we're gonna do we're gonna go ah, at least the grave wasn't destroyed probably said that before I wonder if Gonzalez was wondering what all the commotion was about. Yeah, pretty sure he's sleeping pretty soundly, actually.
Okay. So. Let's go down. Give it a save. And then when we come back, I guess we're going to go to the Silver Shrine. Wait, hang on. Are we going to take the Delphinus? We can't, can we? We're going to be taking a Phoenix ship, surely. I guess we'll find out when we come back, won't we? Drop a couple of saves. Might actually also save... Oh, God, look at that. 25 hours in. 84 hours, guys. We've been playing this game for like four days straight. That's madness when you actually think about it. Uh, anyway, guys, I'm going to leave it there. Thank you very much for watching. And when we come back, well, to the Silver Shrine. That should be quite interesting. Uh, I don't actually remember the Silver Shrine, like, at all. So, <laughs> that's going to be something. Anyway, till next time, guys. Thanks for watching.